What's up Team Hawkhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here, and today I'm gonna give you 10 beginner mistakes that you should avoid if you're getting into snowboarding. Number one is gonna be don't drag your snowboard around. It's a nice tool, you want it to be nice. So many people don't know really how to carry their snowboard when they first go up the mountain. And the most common one you see is they literally hold the binding and they drag their snowboard on the ground. The reason why you don't wanna do that is it can ruin your edge in that point. And that is a pressure point of your snowboard. You want to have that edge be sharp. It's a, what we call a contact point. So don't drag your snowboard in the ground like that. It's okay kind of in the snow, but a lot of people do it in cement and dirt and stuff like that. You don't want to be dragging your snowboard. Tip number two, when you're going up to the top of the mountain, a lot of people like to rest their snowboard on their foot, which is fine, but you want to make sure you hook your high back, not the edge of your snowboard. So many people kick their snowboard on top of their boot. Well, your edge of your snowboard is extremely sharp, so it will cut your boot, it'll cut your boa laces, it can tear up your boots. But if you hook it to the high back of your board like this, you're good to go. And then you don't have to get new snowboard boots. So, win-win. All right, so tip number three is don't run up to the top of the mountain right away. There is a big benefit to starting to, if you're just starting to learn how to snowboard, to do it at the bunny hill, start at the mellow pitch. But even if you're kind of figuring it out, don't be ashamed to riding greens and blues and really kind of figuring out how to stop your snowboard. Ride your toe side edge, ride that heel side edge. Because if you just rush up to the top, it's gonna be steeper, it's gonna be harder, and you're gonna make learning how to snowboard take longer by just rushing to the top. So don't just rush up there. Take the appropriate steps to learn how to snowboard and you'll learn it quicker. All right, so tip number four, once you've like figured out how to get down the mountain, you're kind of riding all of it, stop snowboarding so fast. A lot of people, once they figure out how to kind of be confident on their toe side, how to be confident on their heel side, they just bomb down runs and scream down them doing what we call a back foot rudder. You're just kind of scraping the mountain and you're not actually turning your snowboard. Carving your snowboard, you learn it by slowing down and really focusing on how does it feel when you put up applied pressure to both feet when you hit a toe side turn or both of your heels when you do a heel side turn. But what does an ollie feel like? Slow down on the runs. Don't just bomb them and scream them. Like slow down and play around with the snow and the mountain and really figure out what it feels like to snowboard instead of just flying down a run. <laughs> All right, so tip number five, don't go into the terrain park too soon. A lot of people, once again, they're back foot ruddering. They might not even have full control of their snowboard. They're not very confident on their toe side edge. And then they wanna come into the terrain park and try and hit some jumps and some boxes. You will actually do better in the park and not get hurt in the park if you become a better snowboarder. So focus on slowing down on those runs, getting better at turning your board, understanding how to really carve and all of your snowboard before sending it into the park. That way you don't get hurt. And that way you do have a better time when you do decide it's time to send it in the park because we want everyone riding in the park. We just want no one to get broke off. And by coming into the park too early, you can end up hurting yourself more. And that leads into tip number six. Don't be worried about judgment. Everybody in this park is trying to learn a new snowboard trick or trying to get better at snowboarding. So you don't have to worry about coming in and falling. If you fall on a box, whatever, get up and go. Like no one cares because everybody has fallen on a box before. Even someone like me who's a pretty confident, solid rider, I have fallen on everything that you can think of. It took multiple attempts and a tries to learn stuff. So get out there. Don't worry about judgment. The person that just threw a backside 360 or a frontside 180 doesn't care what trick you're doing. They're just out there having fun. And if you let people know like, yo, this is my first time trying this, and then you try it and you stomp it, everybody's gonna be stoked because everybody loves watching other people get better at snowboarding. It's like the coolest part about snowboarding. So don't worry about judgment and just send it. All right, so tip number seven, 
so many people think that their snowboard or the bindings they get or the gear they're rocking is gonna make them a better snowboarder and that's not true. Some gear will help your snowboarding just a little bit but at the end of the day, whatever you're rocking, as long as it's a snowboard and it's snowboard boots, you can learn and get better at snowboarding with that. And then once you kind of hit that top tier or middle of the grade, like you can S turn, you're carving really good. Then you can worry about camber, reverse camber, V rocker type snowboards, but don't focus too much on gear. As long as it's keeping you warm on the mountain, as long as it's allowing you to be out here ripping and you can get better at the small techniques, then worry about picking up a snowboard. But just because you buy the Capita DOA, blah, 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 doesn't mean you're gonna come out here and throw a backside 360. You guys need to know how to do a backside 360. The snowboard won't do the trick for you. And then that leads into tip number eight, which is don't buy a snowboard that's too big for you. A lot of, or small, like buy the right size snowboard. So every snowboard brand has a size chart for each snowboard. It's primarily based off of your weight. So when you're looking into purchasing a snowboard, Google that brand's size charts, like Burton snowboard size chart. It's gonna have a size chart that's based off your weight and your height and it's going to kind of put you in or like you should be riding these size of snowboards so many times you see people out here on the mountain with a snowboard that's way too big which then makes their stance way too wide and then they don't have a powerful stance to do anything on the mountain so buy the right snowboard when you are buying a snowboard All right, mistake number nine, something that a lot of people don't do is wax your snowboard. You found the snowboard you wanted, you found the right size. Well, now you gotta wax it. And you should be waxing your snowboard every four to five days of snowboarding. And if you don't know how to wax your snowboard, I do have a how to wax your snowboard video right here. But also, if you need snowboard wax, you need a wax iron, you don't have any of the proper gear, I have a sponsorship from Pearl Wax. So you go, if you go to pearlwax.com, it's linked in the description, and use code BUCK20 at checkout, you'll save 20% off your whole order. So if you need bars of wax, you need that wax iron, a scraper, the scraper, a sharpener, any of the gear, it's linked down below, pearlwax.com. Jonathan, or Buck 20, save 20% off. Get yourself some gear, but wax your snowboard. It's a performance enhancer. Why would you not want to enhance your performance on the mountain? You don't have to have it, but it will make your day on the mountain better. All right, guys, we made it to the end. Tip number 10, this is arguably the most important tip that you could do, and that is goggle laziness. Goggles are not only expensive, but they're the most important gear on the mountain. If you can't see, you can't do anything. So if your goggles are fogging up or if they're super scratched up and everything like that, you're gonna have a bad day on the mountain. So take care of your goggles. A big tip is don't leave your goggles over the car overnight. Anytime moisture is sitting or still on your goggle, it's gonna cause your goggles to fog. So if you get mad goggle fog, you have an issue with moisture on your lenses somewhere. Also, when you take your goggles off your head, put them in the chamois. There's no need to just leave them dangling off your helmet, getting scratched up in your car and stuff. These lenses scratch, they're not meant to be taking a beat and everything like that so take care of your goggles they cost a lot of money that being said this is my new goggle sponsor kuno optics they are 70 dollars goggles they're magnetic lenses which are super sick so they pop on pop off you can get replacement lenses super easy so if you do have a beat up pair of lenses or goggles you can get a new pair linked in the description kuno optics they're super sick but overall guys there's so many beginner tips for beginners so if you have ones that i missed on these 10 tips comment down below which ones that i miss or what are your what would your 10 beginner tips be? I wanna know, and I'm sure the beginners out there that wanna get into snowboarding would know. And that's why I made this video is because I want everyone to come out and have the sickest time on the mountain. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. My goal is to help you become the best snowboarders possible. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any ways, please smash that like button. It will help the almighty YouTube algorithm. It will bless me and help more other people find this channel to hopefully get better at snowboarding. Lastly, if you want like an evolution sticker or any of our merch, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, we have so much sick evolution merch. It's the warmest merch in the game, by the way. It's all linked in the description. And if you do snag any of it, tag me on Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs, but also follow my Instagram. I post a bunch of bonus extra content there and you don't want to miss out on that. The store tell you which mountain we're riding at each day so if i'm at keystone and you're at keystone you'd be like yo i'm gonna go find buckhouse so follow instagram get the bonus content and it's overall it's a great time other than that tomorrow guys i could keep talking to you for hours but i don't want to do that waste all your time so thank you so much for shredding with me today and as always thanks for watching 
keep evolving and we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video i'm on top of the ocean living like life ain't frozen feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion yeah Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody. Drums suck, guys. They they completely messed up the takeoffs, the rhythm, the rhyme.